Good morning, y'all. It is day 162, and we just got dropped off back here at East Flagstaff Road, uh, just north of the Bigelow Range, and we are headed further north. Um, we can do about a 16 and a half mile day to Harrison's Pond uh, today. Or Harrison's Pierce Pond, I think. And, um, a few, uh, small mountains. I think it's relatively flat most of the day, beginning two, first two miles and it is the end of the day. But, we are going around three different ponds today, which is supposed to be really pretty, so that'll be kind of nice. Um, boy, that Maine hostel, hostel of Maine, really nice place, highly recommend it. I would say it was definitely one of the top hostels on my list for the entire um, trek. Uh, supposed to be pretty today. Although, I think the high is like 87 or 88, so it'll be warm. Um, and that's about it. Uh, again, um, we're out of the big ranges at this point. Uh, still some mountains to climb, up and downs, but uh, nothing like we were doing. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. I am walking the Appalachian Trail these last few miles, which was the same path that Benedict Arnold marched en route to hopefully surprise the British at Quebec. In the fall of 1775, Colonel Benedict led 1,100 men down this old Native American path using the Great Carrying Place Portage Trail along the string of Cary Ponds. It was a brilliant strategy, but turned into a disastrous defeat. Everything went wrong. There was a holdup in getting paid for the soldiers, which forced a later start date in September. The map obtained by Arnold was inaccurate, and the route turned out to be far longer and more arduous than he had envisioned. 
The shipbuilder hired was secretly a British loyalist and intentionally left out caulking so that their boats laden with supplies sank in the Kennebec River. And then a brutal storm wiped out more of their provisions and equipment. Many men deserted and went home. When Arnold finally reached Quebec, he had only 675 starving, poorly armed soldiers. And when he attempted to launch their assault, a blinding blizzard struck. The British had a single volley of cannon fire that killed most of the officers and Arnold was shot in the leg and had to be dragged off the field. Only a hundred men survived. It nearly cost Arnold his life and stunted his career as an American officer, which put him on the road of disillusionment and eventually treason against the United States. Hey y'all, uh, 162, day 162 is coming to an end. Uh, I'm here at the Pierce Pond. Uh, there's a, they call them lean-tos here in Maine. They don't call them shelters, but um, anyway, we, we're tenting uh, Rocket Man and I right here by the, this nice, they call them pines, but you know, back home, these are lakes. They're, these things are huge. Um, but uh, 60 and a half miles a day and uh, it was 2,200 feet is what it ended up being in elevation and 2,200 feet in descent. So it was still a good workout. It was so hot and humid today. Rocket Man really had some problems. He had to stop several times and rest. Uh, the humidity just really affected him. Um, I was doing a pretty good job of staying pretty hydrated and using a lot of Propel and Gatorade powder solutions. So... I did much better. I got here a little earlier than he, and I was glad I got here early because I was able to scout out two camp spots for our tents. Uh, it's just so hot. We don't want to stay in the shelter and just don't get as much ventilation in there. So, um, yeah, we're going to uh, set up uh, the rest of our gear and um, get some dinner going because eating is always a good thing to do. 
and enjoy this uh, Pierce Pond or a lake, as I would call it. Um, but uh, good day. I mean, we you know there was a, there was a lot of lakes along the way. Wasn't a lot of elevation way up high looking down like we had um, yesterday back uh, uh, when we went across the Bigelows. But um, still, the the ponds are great, and uh, you know you can see ducks and loons, and still haven't seen a moose yet, but we're hoping. Uh, and that's about it, you know, 16 and a half miles. So we kind of bopped it back up on the mileage. It's, you know, we don't have quite the elevation. It's not nearly as rugged. It's very rooty and rocky, but not nearly like it uh, was over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so yeah, good day and uh, getting closer to Katahdin. Uh, we'll uh, be in the woods again a couple more nights before we get into uh, Monson. So um, that's our next and last stop before we go into the wilderness and then on to Katahdin. So we're getting excited, that's for sure. We talk about it every day. So that's it. Thanks everybody for watching and passing the word along to keep getting new subscribers. So something's happening. So I appreciate all of y'all and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.